it's just um it's just happened um it's just been the best person for the job i think it, it's it never i didn't really think about it i didn't even maybe notice until you pointed it out that we do <laughs> our management team is mostly women isn't it but yeah it's just a happy coincidence <laughs> would it be something that would maybe now that's been brought forward was it something that you'd think about with with any other new roles do we need to do some positive discrimination to get some more men into the management team, maybe? No, <laughs> no. Could be more women or could be anything. I think, it, we're, I think we're really strong as an organisation on giving people training and development opportunities. And that's something that I've always really prioritised um, as, as the, the manager of the organisation. I, I encourage people to do training. I encourage... Um, people to do leadership training as well, which I think is really important in terms of building their confidence, building their um, sort of insight into how they work and what their strengths are. And I think that's maybe helped encourage people to, to grow within their roles. So I think, yeah, I think training and, and support for people is, is a really important part of bringing, bringing people on to develop within the organisation. Like to support Susie in that last comment, not in respect of Greener Kirkcaldy, although I agree with her um, about the ethos of, of Greener Kirkcaldy. But when I started work, and I came from Ireland to England in 74, I went to work for the Inner London Education Authority. And at the time, the leader was Ken Livingstone. And it was the, it was the 70s, and you know, positive discrimination was a real thing. But they I was a, what was called a senior domestic bursar. In other words, I was a catering manager in uh, a teacher training college and ran, helped to run the halls of residence. But the ILEA sent me on leadership and management training courses all through the years I worked with them. Um, confidence building, assertiveness training was a big thing then, but it was really helpful in getting over that reluctance among many people but particularly women to put forward your point of view just to say what you think to have a voice in a discussion not to accept what the last speaker said as as right just because he sounded as though he knew what he was talking about so that sort of ethos that built up from the late mid to late 70s has been extraordinarily helpful for women and and other minority groups in employment. We've also made we did make quite a conscious effort to recruit more women to our board. So the board of directors of Greener Kirkcaldy is our, our management committee or our, our trustees of the charity, and we we've made efforts over the years to try and make our board as representative of the local community as possible. And and that's really tough because being on a board isn't always the most exciting thing for yeah. for maybe for younger people so it can be quite challenging to, to get young people on the board but we do have um it's roughly 50 50 in terms of women and men on the board which i think is really important because people do bring different life experiences and different perspectives 